Ring the alarm, cause you know it's born. Brody be bringing the thunder like he came equipped with a storm. All of that talking, though, it ain't gon' ride, boy, this ain't a cab. No, you ain't ready, I think you should really go back to the lab. Cause you gon' lose whoever you choose, fam, I gon' put up a 50. Whether he passing or running, it's getting dotty or sticky. Yeah, he the winner and your team a loser, you better know that before you pick him. Whipping up a bumper liar, might go for a tug on the yiggles. Yeah. What up, though, man? It's your boy, Former. We back, baby. Look, I smashed that like button first. And y'all already know, I have the CFM going, uh, the $500 CFM going. And I want to do something a little bit new. I don't I'm not, I don't not. know if people have done this. I want to do a Mutt CFM. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the same style that uh, the regular franchise is, but I want to do it on Mutt. Of course, I'll have to hand write the brackets and the, and the teams and in the schedule. The schedule will be the same NFL schedule that it is now. So, um, of course, I'm gonna have to hand write that out. You know, probably get somebody to help me like co-commish that thing and everything. But I'm definitely interested in uh, doing a Mutt CFM. So, if you want to join the Mutt CFM, comment down below that you want to hop in, bro. Um, and y'all let me know if it's a fire idea now. I think that'll be lit, bro. But the only thing is, when you lock into the CFM, you cannot change your team in the CFM. When you're playing regular mutt, you know what I'm saying? Let me know if we should do that. Should you be able to upgrade your team with different players or not? Y'all let y'all comment down below. You know what I'm saying? Let's uh mull over this idea because I think it's a fire idea. Um, and yeah, man, appreciate y'all for rocking. Hope you all enjoy this video and let's get it, man. What up, though, man? We back, man. Uh, finna try to get this dub, bro. I, I low key, I've been playing, uh, I haven't been playing good of late, man. Of late, I mean, like the past day or so. Like, winning games, but nah, I want to win games, man. I just been stinking it up lately. My like I'll have a game where you know you have a game where offensively I feel so good and then it's like the next game I feel like dog doo. -doo. And then y'all already know I don't lab, so everything I do on defense like I lab in game. I, I'm not I'm not a practice person. So and then I'm playing more because of that. First down, Vic. Escaping the pressure right. And like that's been happening so much to me, bro. So much. Like, uh man. I don't know if I need to update corners or what I need to do, bro, but I've been getting picked apart. Like my acrobats. I'm not getting no no pressure. I mean, not pressure, but no interceptions, bro. Interceptions have been so hard for me to come by, dog. I don't even feel good about this game, dog, to be honest. I'm hoping he's not an RPO glitcher, bro, because that's going to blow my whole mood of playing. Because I've been playing so many RPO glitches, bro. Like, it's crazy. I'm going to send pressure right here. I'm going to send it, and then he, he is an RPO glitcher. Oh, God. I don't want to play RPO glitches, bro. Oh, I got an RPO glitcher, man. So I am so excited to play against this. Can you not hear the excitement in my voice? Yay me. Give me the ball, nigga. I'm finna blow you out. No, I'm not. EA, don't, don't, EA. When I say stuff like that, y'all sell me, man. 
I just playing. In excellent field position. I really need them to take the RPO glitch out the game, though. And I'm such a, a, a mutt noob. I just realized you can look at people's abilities. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run. All right, it was kind of stacked up. Ah, nah, I didn't know. Never, never did it. He got, he got reach a lead on his guy. And this is caught. First catch by Brandon hmm. there. Move the chains. That don't mean nothing, bro. If, if you RPO glitch and you low key a go. It's Patterson. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. At the end of all that hit, hey Chuck, do y'all think it's a reason they have not patched the RPO glitch fully? Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run for the goal. Shut it down for two yards or less. Throw the ball away, stupid. Able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. That's That's so that's so bad. I should that should have got picked, honestly. I'm going for it, bro. Just because I'm not playing good on Madden, I'm going for it, man. I just got baited by Ray Lewis, bro. That's how that's how bad I'm playing of late, bro. Cousins to throw it. And it's in. What the f it's cool. It's cool, bro. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. The offense for Las Vegas about set to begin the drive. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for I don't even know. I'm not going to even trip. I don't know what happened. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned. Come up past the 40 already and another first and 10. I sh I, I'm just taking my three from now on, bro. Like, oh my God, bro. Tackle, dog. Tackle, 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 bro. I cannot, I can't tackle, man. Niggas break like 40 tackles a game, dog. Oh, my God, bro. I'm so frustrated with this game, dog. And myself. Looks like they ramped things up just a little bit to start the second quarter. First, I'm I'm playing stupid, so it's like, what am I doing, bro? Take your three, man. And that one will be ready to start this next drive. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? Nigga. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, what the f***? And start over and rebuild that confidence. Cousins now on second down. Got a man. I suck, bro. That's really all it come down to is I suck right now, bro. It's this it like I'm making horrible fluffing decisions with the ball, bro. And it is pissing me off, man. Averaging over a hundred yards receiving and average a touchdown per game as well. That's that's a pretty impressive stat. It really is, especially when you consider that every defense he faced. Was prepared for it and was like I don't understand why am I making such bad decisions with the ball, bro? I'm shooting myself in the foot, dog. That low key had like when you playing bad, bro. Like man, it's it's bad, dog. 
It's like EA can feel it when you playing trash because you, you're not getting you're not gonna get nothing from EA. You shooting yourself in the foot, so you know you're not making the best decisions, bro. I'm going through a bad stretch of Madden right now, for real. And I gotta fix it, man. I might have a touchdown right here. From just shy of midfield. Nope. Nope. And I'm pretty sure I missed a I missed a wide open guy somewhere on the field. I know I did. Because I start I fixated on the touchdown. Uh, which is like a, a huge mistake we all, uh, I know for sure a lot of us make, man. When you playing bad, you want the one play tug. One play tug so you don't have to worry about driving up the field because you know you've been making such bad decisions on offense. A reminder coming up at halftime, Jonathan Coachman will join us from Orlando with our halftime report. But business to take care of before we get there. A two-minute drill before the coaches. Two-minute drill. Now a throw here to his running back. That flat route seems so slow to me. And it's dumb because I got ball at half, bro. Like, in that situation, I definitely take three because I get ball at half. <clears throat> this really bad decision-making, dog. I feel like I'm not at the end of my bad decision-making either, dog. I've just been playing so bad, dog. Left him no space to try and run. Really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Cousins throw caught by Sanders. 17 now. If you're going to give me that curl, I got to abuse that curl, man. Then force some adjustments on his end. From the red zone now, Cousins. Like, why? Uh, it's stick drift. It's my stick. It's my stick. Oh, that pisses me off. Oh, dog. I did not move. I didn't, me I didn't move. <laughs> Excuse me. I didn't move. I got fluffing stick drift like crazy, dog. And I don't like my other controllers either, so it is what it is. Throwing on second and long. Cousins. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Sanders. Like, that's why I stepped left. I didn't mean I wasn't even stepping left, dog. I let up off the uh off the trigger, man. And that is what I get. We're doing that. Is he gonna follow? Yeah. I needed him to clear out, bro, so I could hit that scene. I'll probably go buy me a new controller today, though. Because I got some elite controllers, but I don't like playing Madden on elite controllers, bro. And then my other my the, my other lead controller is broken, and I got to get it fixed, bro. I don't I I remember what happened, like it fell off my desk, and it ain't been the same since, bro. So I got to go get that looked at, but it's been broken for a while. And then I got two other elites, but I don't like how they feel. The little fusion elites, I got them joints, but I don't like how those feel at all. And they've got less than 30 seconds to go here, so not a lot of time to work with. Vic in trouble, and down he goes. This nigga's the worst RPO glitcher I've ever played, though. Now they're starting to pile up. And one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball downfield. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with a pressure. Like, uh, I, like, you ever feel like you suck, even though I know I'm really good at Madden? You ever just felt like you suck sometimes, bro? That's how I feel right now, bro. I feel like I suck, but I know I'm really good at Madden, though. If I sell this drive, y'all, i never forgive myself. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Like I like I'm not even lying to y'all, bro. If I sell this, if I sell this drive, bro. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. 
From the shotgun, it's Cousins. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Patterson. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Nine yards to pick up there. And it's a, a lot of people are like, why don't you switch your offense? Because that, that's, not, that's something I never do, bro. Like, I, I, pl I just play, bro. I don't lab offenses. I don't lab defenses. I find something that I personally enjoy running, and then I go lab it in game. And that's how I find – that's how I get get right, bro. But in doing that, I got to see who's going to follow him. In doing that, you do run into issues, though. I ain't going to lie. Yeah, I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. So deep, he got a purple there. Okay, all right. So I'm gonna have. Whenever I see that look, I'm gonna have to quick throw it. This is a different. This ain't the same look. Whenever I see that three three five look, I'm gonna have to quick throw that. Like Dion is not gonna be a tackler for me, bro. But it's like. Like, how can you not get Deion Sanders on your squad, bro? You, like, you know what I'm saying? He's a must-have on your squad. All right, so this is the same look. Let me see. Is, is, the, is the linebacker? Nope, he didn't follow. Okay, so if the linebacker is not going to follow, I'm going to give him this look. From the 25 on second down. Cousins eluding the pressure right. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. Like, do you see how slow? I knew I wasn't tripping, bro. He is so slow. This is play number seven on third and two. Who follows? Throwing Cousins. No ball left. And he is going to have the Raiders first down as they're able to convert <coughs> short yardage with a gain of four. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry, Randy. That is not your blocking responsibility, bro. I did not mean to get you killed. Six, now second and four. Cut back. Move, big dog. Nigga, don't what you doing? You didn't do nothing. What is you slapping your chest at this foe? I should I should have went read option right here. Patterson. All right, let's get a stop, bro, and get out this game, man. Come on. Come on. Give me a stop, bro. Y'all get, get to go with me on this wondrous adventure, bro, to get a stop. You know what I'm saying? Will we get it? You know what I'm saying? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Make this nigga die. Pulls it in at the 13. Oh, give me a fumbles. Fumbles hard to come by, bro. For real, for real. The Las Vegas offense ready to start this next drive. And now, after the touchdown a moment ago, they work from behind. In the this nigga, like, <laughs> oh, no, nah, I've never played this well. Like, we're literally getting to him before he can take off, bro. Duh, Vibe, I've never, ever bagged the RPO glitch this good. No, we playing Michael Vick. Fumble, fumble. Let's go. I no, I don't like. It's the same defense, but for whatever reason, bro, we're flying to the quarterback and not the uh, running back, and he just quit. Let's go, bro.
Appreciate y'all for rocking, man. Hope you all enjoyed that, bro. And we out, man. Peace.